break that, that chain of addiction. Well, it's time for our very favorite part of the show, Disgrace of the Week. As always, Ms. Cahoon, please start us off. It's going to be a long-running topic, I can tell. Denver Public Schools, the new board, the new makeup of the board, just had an election. Then really what we, they could use a lesson in is civics and transparency, secret votes. I don't think that's really showing the students of Denver what we need. David. People who say things that are inaccurate, like a few minutes ago I said that the Los Angeles homeless population had doubled. That was wrong. It actually increased after their billion dollar housing project. Uh, this week, Joe Biden talked about his happy memories about how he used to be a big rig truck driver. And after the 1967 Arab Israeli war, when he was a second year law student at the bottom of his, near the bottom of his class, Israeli Prime Minister Golda Meir asked him to be her special envoy uh, to Egypt. None of those things are true. <laughs> Andy. Uh, the fact that we're 20 months into a t pandemic, six months after we've had vaccines that are widely available and we have to go back to a mask mandate in the city of Denver and other counties throughout the state, it's a, it's a disgrace that people haven't taken the, the time to protect other people by getting the vaccine. Denise. Well, um, I think my disgrace of the week is those uh, U.S. Supreme Court justices uh, that signaled um, in the oral argument this week that it would be okay to overturn 50 years of Supreme Court precedent. Um, overturning Roe will have real world and detrimental impacts for women and primarily women of color. Time to say something nice about somebody, not always easy. Patty. We are coming up on Colorado Gives Day on Tuesday, which is a great opportunity to give to a huge number of Colorado nonprofits have that matched. So study, go on the Colorado Gives Day site, see who really you would like to support this time. And also to our viewers, ran into a couple last night. Loyal viewers love this show. I'm sorry you don't have anything else to do Friday night. You could go to Union Station and eat dinner, but if you're watching the show, thanks. <laughs> if you do go to Union Station to have dinner, enjoy it, but DVR CIO, watch a little bit later. It's, it's good that way. David. Pursuant to the 25th Amendment to the U.S. Constitution, when President Biden was having a colonoscopy a couple weeks ago, he turned over the duties of the presidency to Vice President Harris. By our Constitution, she became the acting president. And so we have had our first female president. And by the way, considering President Biden's state, I wouldn't be shocked if she becomes our first longer term uh, female president and before 2024. Andy, we go to you. Um, it's not often that I get to see a civil rights activist and abolitionist run for office, and Elizabeth Eft is doing that in House District 6, and that was a great thing to see that announced yesterday. Denise. I'm just going to uh, mention a, maybe a, a bill that actually moved in our United States uh, Congress, and it moved by bipartisan support, and it's known as Momnibus. And it was uh, run by a first-time uh, legislator, uh, Congresswoman Lauren Underwood, and it really is trying to get at the issue of maternal health. Uh, right now, we see three out of five pregnancy-related deaths that they are preventable, and this bill is hoping to go uh, to some length to bring those numbers down. I think it's a good job well done. Well, I'll get involved two things, mentioning one, uh, echoing Patty's remarks about Colorado Gives Day. PBS 12 is one of those uh, uh, the, the different organizations that you can support on Colorado Gives Day. So if you enjoy this show, I hope you do. And also, uh, a melancholy uh, say something nice. We lost, uh, the show lost one of its biggest fans this week, uh, Paul Stafford, a longtime Colorado Wins Out fan and also a cousin of mine. Uh, we get to see each other, uh, ironically, every December, every Christmas, uh, in addition to other times of the year. He would always bring up how we watched the show. He was a big uh, member of the no uh, North Denver community, did a lot of different service. Uh, he was part of a lot of different organizations, especially at Our Lady Mark Carmel Church. Uh, he will be missed. We, we, we lost him far too soon, but I hope uh, everyone in the family knows how much he's appreciated, and it'll be great to see his spirit live on with his, his boys, Tony and Phil, uh, and of course his wife, Patty, and with all the family that he left in, in, in good stead far too soon, but in good stead. For everybody here at Colorado Winside Out and PBS 12, I'm Dominic Dizzuti. Thank you so much for watching. Good night.